Hello my peeps and today we're in Tombstone, Tombstone, Arizona, where Wyatt Earp and the boys took on the McCurry boys and shot them up. We've got the video of that and stay tuned, we've seen little shops and everything along the way. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a like. That's the same thing, but do it. Just do it. Well, my peeps, we're in Tombstone, Arizona. And this is where they have the shootout at the OK Corral. And we're waiting for that to happen. We'll take a look at some of the buildings. Okay, now Tombstone was burnt down, and out of all the buildings all the way down there, those are all rebuilt. This one here, the birdcage, is original. This is somebody's backyard. <laughs> Stop if you don't have a ticket. You will end up like that. A couple of things before we get started, folks. First thing is first. Please do not try to handle or grab our weapons at any time during or after the show. They are real guns, they are dangerous, and we want y'all to be safe. Now that we've had the safety talk, anybody got a cell phone with them today? Raise your hand. Throw it up in the air. <laughs> Put those things on quiet. Chuck them over the wall to make a lot of noise. Anybody got small children with them today? Raise your hand. Throw them up in the air. <laughs> if they get to talking or crying or spitting or cussing or fussing, you can take them to the bench outside. They'll see the show just fine and won't bother the people around you. Now what you folks need to know before we get started is that this is an audience participation show. What that means is, when you see the good guys, dapper gentlemen, dressed like myself, we want you to cheer us every time we enter or exit the stage. <laughs> Adversely, when you see the dirty cowboys, boo. we want you to boo them every time they come off stage. Simple enough, right? Right. Yes. That yes. was convincing. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Let's hear it for the good guys. Yeah. Bad guys. Boo. Good looking guys. Ah. That was weird, man. 
mister. <laughs> Are you folks ready for a gunfight? Yeah! Are you ready folks ready for a killing? People are sick. <laughs> we'll get started in 45 minutes. Y'all relax. Hey! I'm ready to see Billy get killed. <laughs> that was a heck of a show, eh, Mark? Why, Daddy? Why? It was. You know what? One second. Woo! We all had one job. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and make sure we got it. <laughs> It's like them cowboys getting started. Oh, I feel like oh. Do about it. Uh, Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah, oh. 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 Red wine. Oh. Hi, boys. You gonna go do yeah. something about all that shit? Yeah. You know what, Herb? You made a big name for yourself okay. up there at Dodge yeah. City. Why don't you give me a hand? Sounds like I can use some help. Uh, you're the one wearing the badge, Fred. <laughs> Plus, we're busy. Yeah, real busy. Hey, you boys know I don't need this badge to do what's right. Neither do you. Wait, wait on us, Fred. Uh, I wish we could see that. Ike! There's Ike! It's Ike Slanton! Bill Ike Slanton. You boys hang on a sec. You're all in violation of city ordinance number nine. You know you can't carry those weapons in town. Hand them over. I need you to hang on a second. Well, Bill, what's he talking about? We've been ordinated. Well, I, I reckon we may find my man. Ooh. Oh, no. I'm not playing around, boys. You hand him over now. Oh, come on now, Fred. We're just having a good time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I tell you what, you want my gun so bad? It's all yours. All right, Bill. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 my God! Bill! All right. As you look at Mort. Bill, if that marshal dies, they're gonna swing. Turn him loose, sir. You turn him loose, you forget we're ever here. I need you shot him, man. He's gonna stay on trial for it. That's how we do things. Now clear out. Bill, get up and walk away. Stay right there. Nobody <laughs> 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 will safer than a trial, I suggest you clear out. I'll come back for you, man. Come back. Come on. Get back here, right there, yeah. Get your hands out for me, you dirty. Have a seat for you. Doc Holliday. Third fool I seen shot didn't have business wearing a badge in the first place. At least he tried, what? That's more than we can say for ourselves. Virgil, what are you doing with that badge? We did not come down here to be locked in. If this town's gonna make it, it's got to have some water. Okay. Virgil, come on, but you just listen to me. Virgil, we don't need to do this. Talk to him when he gets like this. Can't talk to him ever. Let's go get some coffee and figure it out. <laughs> no. What was it? No, it wasn't. No? Uh oh. Yeah. After all this time. Uh, so how was Tucson? Well, the festival was a bust, if you must know. Plenty of money to be had, but none of it rubbed off on me. Hmm. But enough about me. How is respectable business treating you? Well, Tombstone's the place to be. It's as if you could pluck the money off the trees around here. You said the same thing about Dodge City, Wyatt. Well, it's different this time, Doc. I'm through risking my neck. Strictly on the up and up. At least until the election's over, isn't that right? <laughs> so you've heard of my intentions. Well, I can picture it now. Wider, county sheriff, you haven't changed a bit. Well, there is something I need to talk to you about, though. Oh? Well, it's Ike Clanton. He's on the warpath, yeah. and this time he's gunning for you. He's got it in his head you've been telling people about that Benson stage hold up. So what if I have? Ike Clanton is a no-good snake in the grass, betraying his friends like that in for what? Some blood money from Wells Fargo? Well, I made that deal with him, Doc. He'd get the money, I'd get all the glory. Really would have helped become election time. Does that make me a snake in the grass? No, Wyatt, you wear a badge and a gun. You're doing your job. Ike Clanton has no such excuse. A man who sells out his friends like that, no business living. Uh, you should mind your business where this is concerned. If Ike Clanton comes my way, it becomes my business, and I handle my business the proper way. Doc, we're doing real well here, Tombstone. The Oriental's a gold mine. 
Virgil's town marshal, and I'm on my way to becoming county sheriff. We don't need anybody to interfere with that. Very well, Wyatt. I will not be the one to upset your little plan. That's all I ask. Enough of this talk. You show me your best bottle of whiskey. That's my pleasure. Join me inside. This? Still got an overhope seven pieces. That's not enough for me, Wyatt. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. No, I can't believe them! No! Oh! They're like slams. I half mind to go back there and show them who's boss. We ain't going back to the lombre. That's trouble we don't need. What I need is another drink. By the looks of you, you can use one too. You've had enough today, I I'm going to tell you when I've had enough. Don't try and rope me in, boy. You're fine. All right, whatever. Put that thing away. <laughs> you're killing me. Bartender! Oh, easy, Clay. I'm not More than herbs. How many herbs are in this town? You have 10? 15? Just five, Mike. Enough to take care of you, boys. What's that Hold on, Mike. Don't kill him. Would you look at this? Not so long, your Doc Holiday. You getting ready to go out of this town? You gonna spread some more lies about me? I do believe I've ever only told the truth about you, Ike. Y'all drunken fools. Hold on, Ike! Right? We don't need this. Oh, it's not to worry, Tom. Nothing will come of it. See, Ike talks and he talks, but he never does back up any of those threats. No, he's just a coward. Watch your mouth, Holiday. Don't make me kill you. I'm through with your words, Clint. You threaten me. You threaten the earth, so I'm sick of hearing it. What do you say? We settle this blood feud here and there. That's fine, but... Oh. <laughs> What's it gonna be then, Ike? You can see I ain't fixed right for a fight. Take all that big talk and put it right. Ooh. I'll kill you anyway, do this town of fame. Oh, it'd be real easy to. Oh, so easy to talk. Why does he have a gun? What you check his guns? Get him out of here. You do your job. Tom, check those guns. It's your responsibility. <laughs> he, just, he just gave you a thumbs up. Yeah. He just fun. gave you a thumbs down. <laughs> 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 Long missed her, find myself suddenly bored. <laughs> Is that the best you've got? <laughs> you bunch of pansies. <laughs> what up? Get out of there! Can't wait for your brother. <laughs> I want you to deliver a message to your pal Holiday. Hey, you're going to tell him he's got to make a fight and he's going to make it in the morning. Ike, I'm an officer of the law. I don't want to hear this kind of town. What about you, Wyatt? Am I going to fight you, Ike? That's what I thought. There's no money in it. Ooh. Well, man, I reckon it's time we fix all this fight and talk to a close. Come on. But you boys are going to do as I say. You're going to tell your friend Holiday that I'm going to be waiting for him in the morning. Boo. Boo. No, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna be waiting for hours. Alright, he'll lose interest as soon as that hangover sets in. If we have any luck, it'll pass out and forget about the whole thing. Now, Virgil, when's our luck ever been that good? Never. No. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, old man. <laughs> oh. Your brother's gonna be killed, you know that. No, 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 get out of here! Come out, I don't got all day. You said you wanna finish it, right? Well, I'm right here! Won't you come finish it? Alright, how right about this? I give you the count of ten. Before I get in by kicking this door off its hinges. <laughs> Two, three, what are you waiting for? You yellow belly, come toward the hip! <laughs> Looking for someone, Ike? <laughs> Get wrecked. I was. <laughs> I was looking for your friend, Doc Holliday. Better see either of you boys any sooner, though. I'd have killed you first. Glad to disappoint you. <laughs> Morgan, hold him at the jail while I go find Judge Walsh. God. Morgan Arthur, 
You know, if I had a gun on me, I would take a fight with each and every one of you work boys. Morgan! You've been threatening my family for months now, Ike. He'd be right to shoot you down. He's not going to do it. He'd be right. Morg, get him inside. Go ahead, Morg. Get me inside. Yeah, here we go. Oh, You hear what your buddy Doc's been going around saying about Ike? That ain't right. Well, you all treat him ain't right either. Everybody knows he's a drunk, but he's harmless. He's been carrying guns around and making threats. He's lucky to be alive. Who do you think you are, some Dodge City pimp coming around here telling us how to live? Whoa. Well, he, he hit him. You know what, Frank? I've heard every word you've said. This is Ike's problem. Ike's problem? He's out there from Stockholm. Jesse James. Him. He's like this everywhere we go, isn't he? You get a few drinks in him, and he thinks he can whip his way to Wildcats. I'm just sick of it. Family, family. You can't back your brother's play every single time. What could I don't know. What if he's wrong, McClellan? What if he goes and gets your hands off me? Get him out of here. Clear out of town and everyone settle down. I don't want to see you boys here again today. You ain't got no right to talk to us like that. I'll talk to you any way I please. I'm the marshal of this town and you're nothing but a lot of horse thieves and stage drivers. Sheriff sure Behan, I'm not care oh. what goes on between here and the border of Mexico, and I do! You hear that, boys? Sheriff Behan! Sheriff Marjolin, up on high, preaching to you about Sheriff Behan! Let me tell you something about Sheriff Behan! He's a smart man who leaves us alone! You know, I think that Sheriff's gonna find himself living a nice, long, happy life, unlike some folks I know. <laughs> Are you threatening us again, Clay? I make threats. When I say men die, they die. <laughs> I've dealt with men like you my whole life, Ike. You don't scare me. I'll go to Charleston and San Simone. Fight every man in your game. If you touch my family, I will kill Ooh, you. Oh, that is a lot of tough talk. It's a real shame to come out of a dead man. So you boys, you try and pull us out of this town, but we're still here and we ain't leaving. Yeah, you are. But this, <laughs> it's gonna end the day while I'm done talking. It's so shady. Let's go, boys. <laughs> 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 what about their big guns, Kobe, Bill, and Ringo? Nah, I get some self shot dead. It's more spoils for the rest of them. That's the read he's headed that might just hit. Yeah, well, he's drunk and suspicious, Burge. He knows the four of us know about that deal he made about that Benson stage hold up. Technically half. Really been Ringo find out. It's not gonna sit well. When he buries us, he buries us. Yeah. yeah. Woo! What is going on out here, Wyatt? Police business, Doc. Nothing for you here. There's more cowboys in town. Where's they gunning for you? Looks to me like you could use all the friends you could get. We can find those cowboys. Just find Doc. They're not far from here. In an empty lot behind the OK Corral on Fremont. They look to mean business. The boys have got guns. Then we will take those guns away from them. <laughs> Doc, if you're coming with us, you'll have to listen to me. Hang back. Hold on to this. Come along. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Simple, Bill and they're getting here, we're gonna take care of them. No, you don't mean we're actually gonna- No, 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 well, uh, we're going to have a newspaper up. Yeah, put a card in the paper, nice fancy border and everything. We're gonna kill them, the paper, what they did. But we don't have to do this. Absolutely. We can just we leave, leave right back to the
cowboys have been looking for a fight, and now you got it. Up your hands, boys! We're here for your guns! Hey, I'm up there! It blazes away. Y'all daisy. Get wrecked. <laughs> 30 rounds are fired in oh, a matter of 30 gun, seconds. Give me that gun, boy. That was it. Over before it even started. Books will save 30 shots in 30 seconds, but I wasn't counting it. It was you. <laughs> Two months after this gunfight, Virgil Earp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. Mm. Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the west till death found him in the paddock in 1905. Not as lucky was Wyatt's brother Morgan. Shot in the back and killed playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19th, 1882. It's brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, the two main causes of this gunfight died, hundreds of miles apart from each other. That summer, putting together a new gang in northern Arizona, Ike Clanton was shot and killed by a mail-order detective. <laughs> Not long after that, a lifetime of drinking, smoking, and bad decisions caught up with yours truly in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. <laughs> Wyatt Earp was the last man standing. Wyatt spent the rest of his days traveling. He went from Idaho to Alaska, finally ended in Jazz Age Hollywood, looking for another tombstone and a chance to get it right. He never did find it. When he died in Los Angeles in 1929, just ahead of his 81st birthday, his last words, suppose, suppose. And that, folks, is our show. We hope Woo! you enjoyed. Woo!